Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls 3. Uh, as you can see, since the last episode, I returned to Firelink Shrine because we do have 100k souls, and you know, 100k is 100k no matter where we are. And let's get some more endurance, and yeah, fuck it, vitality. Even though my vitality bar is going off the screen, it kind of tends to do that in this game, so we'll ignore that. We're going back to the Grand Archives. Gonna be a longer episode this time again. We'll see how far we get or what we can accomplish here. Shouldn't be too bad. This is the thing, like... Well, we're definitely gonna get to the princes, I think. Yeah, maybe we'll even clear them out. Uh, people asked in the previous episode, I think, uh, how I'm gonna do the DLCs. I'm definitely leaving them for last, so I will kill the Soul of Cinder and I'll probably see the ending before. I, I don't think they affect anything. And then we'll be the official Lord of Hollows at that point or Dark Lord or whatever. And then we'll go tear up the DLCs. Although maybe, honestly, it's only going to be a few levels. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll leave them for before. I mean, when you think about it, I am pretty strong here with this character, although the DLCs are a different cake entirely because they are fucking difficult. At this point I could probably get to Uncle Gale as well, couldn't I? He should already be in the little cathedral. This is a nice area. I like the look of this. I don't know how to exactly trigger the flying smoes. I don't know what else to call them. Because they are up there, I think. Where the hell are they? Uh, guys, did you not spawn? Of course they spawned. There they are. I thought you could see them perched up somewhere, but I guess they're just kind of like chilling out at the top. What up? Cool. I am dealing a lot of damage. Oh yeah, they have this. Yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Please die. Still not dead. Quickly. Oh, damn it. It's not the most elegant way to do this. But hey. So I don't know if this enemy respawns or not. Pretty sure they don't. Ha, bitch. Collision detection. Did you see that? Did his weapon really get caught up? Not this attack. Because they can like... Even after flying, they can maneuver... Which is, physics-wise, a little bit weird. Come on. Yes. We have, one, we, had, we have the one with the axe. We get Night Halberd. You know what? Eat shit. And you are gonna... That dealt nowhere near as much damage as I thought. Can you stop, please? Jeez, can you stop? Thank you. Wonderful. Sometimes you really do have to just brute force it. Especially with strength weapons. I mean, that's kind of their whole shtick. So yeah, the princes are pretty close. Man, how is this going to go? I don't even know. I don't know what my Quan levels are today. I don't know what it's feeling like. Because the princes... Oh, shit. They can be a mixed bag. Sometimes I have no problems with them. Other times they proceed to kick my ass. Plus it's been a while since I fought them. Should I go back? There is a lot of enemies here. Fuck it. We're gonna we're gonna take the safe option. I have managed not to die. I've managed to stay in human form for quite a while at this point, so... 
let's keep our streak going. Not like in Dark Souls 2 where I was constantly dying. Uh, you know, <clears throat> if we have a good thing going, why not do it? Especially since I'm pretty tired today. Um, I was just out walking the dog. It snowed a lot today. Which kind of... I mean, when it's the weekend, snow is fine. But on Monday, it's going to be a bitch going to work. Especially it's going to get to the point where, you know, when snow it melts a little bit, then refreezes, then melts again and refreezes. And you get, like, the slickest ice. And... It's gonna be cold as shit too, so it's not gonna melt for quite a while, which is gonna make, you know, transportation challenging, so to speak. On foot as well. Because, I mean, you do have to walk the dog, because she doesn't mind. She loves ice, she loves snow. I mean, with four legs, you have better traction anyways, but me, it's like, you know, I'm doing the Fortnite ice boot slide behind her, that's what I'm doing. But yeah, I mean, also, this is taking place instead of the stream. I know I stream on every Saturday, but, you know, I'm kind of working towards uh, getting the new schedule started and, you know, the more streaming focused stuff which I talked about. And that means I have to finish these games. And there's quite a bit left from, well, this game especially. Neo, there's probably not that much. Darksiders 3, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. I heard that the game is like 8 hours long. And so, yeah. Depending, of course, on how you go about it. <clears throat> If you don't know what this is, this section, this is a Demon Souls reference for all the the newbies. Which is pretty cool. Demon Souls references, I fuck with Demon Souls references. This is the kind of thing that makes me think about what a Demon Souls remake would look like. With these graphics, that would be sick. And of course, revamped gameplay a little bit. I talked about it, I mean, I made a video about this, but... You wouldn't need to change much on Demon Souls, honestly. Uh, just... Make some of the like weirder systems a little bit easier and make it so it is actually possible to upgrade your weapon to whatever infusion you want because in that game it's kind of tough because basically how it works is some of the upgrade materials needed for like the bleed infusion and all that are incredibly rare like the holy shit type of rare so, you know, it's like, it's a little bit like... You gotta be the most patient man in the world if you want a specific weapon. Most people just go for the achievement because most people are like, you know, like, fuck it. Let me just get the, the normal... How are you still alive? Most people are like, you know, let me just get the normal infusion and fuck it. And really, I'm tearing these guys up. So yeah, that's some of the tweaks that would need to be done. Also, world tendency and character tendency. Maybe instead of changing it, just like have a better explanation of what it is. Especially character tendency, they don't like really explain what it affects. But whatever. I mean, it's Demon Souls. Still like the game. <clears throat> People ask me why I don't play Demon Souls like on the channel and on screen and all that. It's just because I kind of packed away my PS3. I kind of reorganized all my uh, stuff here with 
my consoles and the cables and all that. And I put away. It's it's in the shelf or it's in my cupboard here. But you know, I'd have to set it up and the capturing. It's just a whole hassle. It's unfortunate that Demon Souls is not available on PSN or for download. You know, It'd be so much more convenient. Oh well, whatever. When the time is right, I'll probably do one. Anyways, a Demon Souls playthrough, I mean. So yeah, is it time for the Twin Princes? I think it's time for the Twin Princes. I'm gonna kick their asses, you know. You gotta, you gotta be positive. I got an ad for one of these, like... Uh, Self-help gurus before one of my YouTube videos I was watching. God damn. Those fools are crazy. Seriously. Nothing to see here, by the way. Just passing by. Some real Metal Gear Solid shit. Pro stealth. Oh, we're in my head. Great. Okay, I'm going to stay quiet here because this is one of my favorite cutscenes. Hey, do we get no help? I feel like there should be at least one NPC. Hopefully I'm not going to need it, but... Alright. This is giant ass mace. <laughs> Hilarious. Strength strength weapons are funny in this game. In every Souls game. Another dogged contender. Welcome, unkindled one. Purloiner of symbols. Mind you, the mantle of Lord interests me none. The fire linking curse. The legacy of Lords. He's cool, like this is a cool cutscene, you gotta admit. Now have your rest. Everything from his like voice acting to the dialogue to this fool. The design on him is really cool. He's just like dragging himself on the ground. Oh man, I've forgotten this boss. Oh hello, <laughs> hello damage. Yeah, that's a last minute dodge. Oh man. Yeah, okay. I swear. I mean, he's taking a lot of damage, that's for sure. Could have gotten a crit, but didn't have the stamina. Oh yeah, you can kind of just like strafe him, can't you? Kill your stupid brother. By the way, this is the phase where it gets a little bit more challenging. He's just like taking so much damage. That's... This weapon shreds, I'm serious. He's kind of gross looking, isn't he? He looks like, I don't know if you remember uh, Resistance. They had those like weird mutated uh, aliens. Grey something. Greyjacks, I think that's what they were called. The ones with that, like the really long arms. Man, what the hell happened to that series? I mean, it finished, but there's some waifu shit, by the way. There's some incest shit, actually. I mean, how do these two get around? Like, it looks like both of them can't walk. Getting up close and personal, for sure. This is a long ass gun. They draw this shit out, don't they? Or drag it. Cool. Cool story, bruh. Now 
This is like the most Dark Souls 3 shit where you just gotta like dodge like an idiot and Oh shit I know the trick Like one one round should do it, right? For sure. He's taking hella damage. Okay, maybe not, but still. Oh shit, don't die here. He's dead. That was insanely easy. <clears throat> yeah, this is the thing. There's always been a thing about this boss. I mean, I'm assuming the last time or my previous walkthroughs I was a little bit weaker. But even then you could always kind of just like brute force it. <coughs> 121k. Cool. Well, I didn't think we'd get here in 16 and a half minutes, that's for sure. So I could go up to our Dragon Peak. I could. And we could do DLC. Uh, let's DLC it up. Why not? I'm not gonna place his Cinder just yet, because we get into the cutscenes and all that. So... I don't know, man. What should we level up? Uh, strength? Strength never hurts. That's for sure. You know, let's do this. I know, I know, basic as fuck. Endurance, strength. Um, HP. What else do you need, really, when you think about it? Alright. Cathedral of the Deep. And we want to go to the... Cleansing? Yeah, the Cleansing Chapel. I don't think there's anything special you need to do to unlock him, right? He just shows up after a while. I'm pretty sure. I guess we're gonna find out. The problem is, if he doesn't show up, I have no clue what the fuck we're supposed to do. Because there is a thing with the map as well. Hold up. Your boy's gonna get into trouble, isn't he? Oh yeah. <laughs> uh oh. I literally have forgotten how this bitch works. Cause you teleport from here, I do know that. But you need like some type of item, right? Motherfucker. Break out the Google. Break out the Google. Oh shit, my phone is charging. Alright. Change of plans. Time to go to Arch Dragon Peak. We'll need to go to Irithyll Dunge. This one's probably the close. The thing is, I haven't gone that way. That's... Uh, I don't even know where. Damn, I'm all over the place today. Gale, Gale, Gale. It's not a frozen flower that you need because... That's the... Whatever. I like really racking my brain over this shit. Oh man, that's satisfying. Sander flying. Because these enemies, as you know, are the actual worst. Don't grab me. So unfair. What is this? Look at my HP. This enemy man. They got real creative with this one, didn't they? Fuck both of you. Yeah. 
that would be the thing, right? That Lothric doesn't get me, but one of these like bitch ass skeletons does. Typical. Because this is the shortcut, which again I didn't go to. That's where Arch Dragon Peak is. Fuck you. It's the thing, it pushes them so far away. That's what the problem is, really. Nice, so I was just about to say. I'm not saying much because I'm genuinely thinking <laughs> how, the, how the fuck we reached that spot. Um, as in where the dragon is. As you can see, I'm good at navigating this game. Pro Dark Souls 3 player coming through. I think it's easier to just take the shortcut, right? Pretty sure it is. Yeah. I'm almost certain. Keyword being almost. Yeah, loops around somewhere here. So anyways... How are you guys doing? This is not a live stream, but still. I'm just chilling with Dark Souls 3. I still, no matter what people say about this game, I've enjoyed my time with this playthrough quite a bit. Actually. Sure, I mean, this game has its set of issues. Oh, hello. Alright, hold on. I need to get my phone. Okay, so, the thing about the DLC. Uh, you don't need an item. However, it does help to have the thing installed. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Maybe when I was moving my... Uh, games onto the external hard drive that I bought a couple of months back. It messed something up because I had these DLCs installed, but now they weren't. So I had to re-download Ashes of Ariandel, which kind of sucks because I intended to make this a long episode. However, because of, well, I had to wait quite a bit for this thing to install. Oh man, like, okay, I'm not going to go on too long because then this episode is going to go out or come out like really really late which I kinda don't want there he is look at that ass let's shut the fuck up <clears throat> what up Gale This dude. You must be. Oh. <laughs> you didn't know how long I searched. Oh. This dude is crazy. <laughs> Don't mind me. Didn't mean to fall apart. <laughs> but this is a, like the concept is cool for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically a side quest in the form of a DLC. Thank you. Babe of Ash, never fail. Just a moment, then. 
Would help if your mouth moved, but it's all good. I don't know if they're using different models for this cutscene because they seem a little bit more high fidelity visual wise than normal. I love the little leg movement. <laughs> Gotta have a crazy laugh if you're a Dark Souls NPC. Can't go without that. <clears throat> I wonder how many of the NPCs are going to have crazy laughs in Sekiro. Probably all of them. So yeah, we'll go on for a little bit. Again, I planned on making more progress and making this a full hour-long episode, but I had to wait quite a bit for this shit to download, so... That really sucks. That really sucks. But, you know, sometimes... Stuff like this happened. I, I, I had like no conception that it wouldn't be installed, but it was pretty strange. I thought you had to wait for a certain point until he will appear, but of course not. You just have to have it installed, which means I got to get the, what you call it, the second one as well. What's the second one even called? Oh, and these enemies are bitches. Except this one. No, still, still a bitch. Hopefully, the ease of using this weapon is not gonna stop with the DLC. So far, it's looking alright. Of course, this is the DLC that everyone and their mother hates. But I don't know. I don't know. I understand the complaints. I mean, the bosses are not the best. And it is very short for the price of admission. But we're going to get into the complaints anyways. Uh, don't want to make this too much about me bitching. But we'll talk about them for sure. Oh, what up? I was like, what the hell is that noise? Cool. I have no earthly idea where the bonfire is that I came from. I guess it's up here. Somewhere. Because we're going to return to it. And I'm lost in the frozen wasteland. And then I think we'll call it a day. Again, legit. I wanted to make more. Oh, there it is. Alright, I wanted to make more progress, but, you know, what can you do? There's a message here. Before one faces the painting, one should face the death of Lothar Castle. Oh, oh, that's pretty good. I never knew that this was a thing. They're like, hey, asshole, you should level up. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of oh, Only the Mighty May Proceed. Thanks for watching this episode of Dark Souls 3. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see all of you next time. There we go. Goodbye.